The 11th election of National Assembly members and the second election of members of Provincial People's Councils will take place on February 21st, 2021. In the run-up to these important events, our Lao National English Language News Bulletin will run a series of special reports providing information about the election. The following is Rights and Duties of National Assembly and Provincial People's Council Members. National Assembly and Provincial People's Council Members National Assembly members represent the rights and legitimate interests of the Lao ethnic people. They are elected by citizens under inspection by the people, Lao Front for National Development, Lao Veterans Federation, Lao Federation of Trade Unions, Lao Women's Union, and Lao Youth Union. <laughs> Provincial People's Council members represent the rights and legitimate interests of people in a province. They are elected by citizens under inspection by the people, provincial branches of the Lao Front for National Development, Lao Veterans Federation, Lao Federation of Trade Unions, Lao Women's Union, and Lao Youth Union. Rights and Duties of National Assembly Members 1. Study, understand, and take the lead in implementing policies, the constitution, laws, and resolutions of the National Assembly, resolutions passed by standing National Assembly members, and represent the rights and legitimate interests of the people. Advocate, disseminate, and mobilize support and participation by Lao ethnic people from all walks of life in implementing policies, the constitution, laws, and resolutions of the National Assembly, standing National Assembly members, national socioeconomic plan, and state budget plan, and mobilize people's participation in administration of the state, society, and the economy. Make people aware of the rights and duties of the National Assembly and National Assembly members. 3. National Assembly members have to attend National Assembly session regularly. If unable to attend a meeting for any reason, permission from the National Assembly President must be obtained through a written letter. 4. Study and prepare comments for National Assembly session and vote with a high level of political responsibility. 5. Raise questions for the National Assembly President, National Assembly Standing Members, President, Prime Minister, Government Members, President of the People's Supreme Prosecutor, President of the People's Court, and President of the State Auditing Organization. 6. Report on his or her work to the constituency and attend ordinary sessions held by the constituency. 7. Closely monitor, meet, and welcome people, collect and lead public opinion, present people's comments to the National Assembly and relevant sectors to consider and address and monitor responses to people's comments. 8. Consult and provide advice to citizens on how to file complaints and problems of interest. 9. Attend conferences, activities, and important ceremonies of the party, state, Lao Front for National Development, mass organizations, and social organizations in accordance with invitation or obligations. 10. Receive data, information, and news which are essential for National Assembly members to carry out their duties. 11. Summarize and report his or her activities through a written letter to his or her National Assembly Committee and constituency. Provincial People's Council members must report to their Provincial Council. 12. Exercise the rights and carry out the duties specified in laws and regulations. Rights and duties of Provincial People's Council members. 1. Study and learn to take the lead in implementing policies, the Constitution, laws, and resolutions of the National Assembly and Provincial People's Council. Respects the rights and legitimate interests of people. 2. Advocate, disseminate, and mobilize the support and participation of Lao ethnic people of all walks of life in learning and understanding about the implementation of policies, laws, and resolutions of the National Assembly and resolutions of Provincial People's Councils the National Socioeconomic Development Plan, State Budget Plan, and Provincial Budget Plan. 3. Regularly attend Provincial People's Council sessions. If unable to attend, permission must be obtained from the President of the Council through a written letter. 4. Study and prepare comments for meetings and vote with a high level of political awareness. 5. Raise questions for the Provincial People's Council, standing members of the Council, Governor, Vientiane Mayor and officials which the Council elects and endorses. 6. Closely monitor, meet and welcome people, report on work carried out to his or her constituency, 
collect and present comments of people to the council and relevant sectors to consider and address and monitor responses to issues raised. 7. Consult and give advice to citizens on how to file complaints to the council to consider and address. 8. Attend conferences, activities, and events, especially those redesigned to generate a spirit of love for the nation and development and activities related to the Three Builds Directive. 9. Receive information and news which is needed for council members to perform their duties. 10. Summarize and report on their activities to their constituency through written letters.